So, you've decided you're gonna take that big step and plan for winter. But the question is, are you prepared for it? I'm gonna share everything that you need to prepare for winter. So you're probably asking yourself, why me? Why would a girl who lives on the equator tell you anything about winter? Well, my dear brethren, I just want to tell you that I have experienced it. I almost froze. Well, not really, but I did feel impending cold. And you know what they say? With great. Step one. We're gonna go into the closet and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to carry. So we're gonna get out of this little theatrics. Okay, your girl's gonna be learning how to ski, but don't worry, I'll put a clear mark where the ski packing begins. Okay, so firstly we're gonna start with the base layers, and the base layers are what you wear closest to your skin. And something important to remember for the base layers, because this is the layer that keeps you warm and keeps you insulated, you know, from your physics class. So, your base layer needs to be non-cotton because the thing about cotton or wearing cotton garments in general is that the moment that cotton gets wet it like sort of like traps the moisture and it just makes you feeling it just leaves you feeling cold so don't get any base layers that are made of cotton because that's not gonna work girl okay so i'm gonna be wearing this base layer by under armor i actually bought this proof to this fortunately um when i was going to mount kenya and you got to find something that at least says cold fit or cold gear because that just means it's made for the cold and because this is it's not bad i think if it didn't have this like large h hair i could still wear this as just like a top in general for like the basic days but i guess i could if i like put on a scarf or something but if i'm going skiing this is definitely something to carry or even just like day-to-day -day wear i could definitely wear this what about the lower half what are you gonna wear thanks sorry i completely forgot so base layer for the bottom as well their clothes are clothes I generally have like like leggings but they have like this fleece like material on the inside and that helps you stay warm how many pairs are you carrying of this base layer three or four sets so I could still do laundry in case anything does get wet I could have something for another day and also I don't want my suitcase to be too full because don't forget I need to carry coats before we continue packing it's important that you know exactly what it is we're packing for that means you too all right but I thought we were just doing stylish things in the snow if you're packing for the winter, for the cold, you need to know what sort of activities you're doing. Are you going skiing or are you just going to be walking around the city? Sweaters! Okay, I can't possibly carry all of these. But yeah, I'm going to decide which ones to carry, which ones to leave behind. So I'm going to pick some colors that are a bit neutral. Okay, the green I have to because it's so fun. And who doesn't want to brighten winter? And the gray and the purple and the... I think for this trip, I'm gonna go go with like one purple because it's a really beautiful purple. And then of course, the dinosaur sweater is so cute. I think you saw me wear this in the last video. So yeah, I'm gonna carry that as well. I've got this white one, which I think is really cool and it's really cute. I can't leave this behind. So yeah, we're taking the white one. The about sweaters is because they're so bulky, you can't carry too many. So I think I'm gonna restrict myself to maximum four sweaters. So I've already got three. Um, I'm thinking perhaps I'll go wearing the purple one, um, the lilac one, and then I have to pick one more. I've got either this brown, but so either this, which I think is so beautiful, but I need to be practical so this is not really gonna, it's not gonna keep anyone warm. My hands will be freezing if I carry this, so I'm gonna have to let go of this. Something else is super important to carry, and actually I think looking at this this goes hand in hand with skiing is a fleece sweater so a fleece sweater is something that you can wear on top of the undergarment and it just keeps you like very warm i think this one that i have is by jack wolfskin but you can also find really affordable fleece sweaters at decathlon and any store so i've got a black one and a pink one and i think i'll carry both because this pink one matches my, um, I've got some ski pants, which I fortunately managed to thrift and they're by Decathlon. So I'm gonna be carrying these ski pants and I'll also carry the pink fleece sweater. And I guess the fleece sweater is something I could also wear, um, maybe not the bright pink, but the from day to day, I could also wear that like after skiing. 
and the black of course I can wear the black in day to day and it's something that will also help keep me warm I wish it didn't have this like decathlon logo but we can't win and we can't pick and choose okay so something else and this is the most important thing like you can't leave this behind is a down jacket okay so this is a jacket that has like lots of down in on the inside um the one that I carried the year before and this is you have to it's nice if you get something that's waterproof so the one that I carried previously was this one and it's very very shiny so I'm gonna carry two jackets I just like to carry one that can fold into a very small piece like this one so I'm definitely gonna carry this one and just have it just in case because this can fold into something very tiny see so it's not gonna take up that much space I'm gonna carry this jacket and then I just have to decide either between white or black oh I wish I could carry them both I wish I could carry them both because I really like the look of I mean the the white one is like oof it's really nice but the black one I guess I can wear with everything so I should I would probably have to take the black but I also want to carry a leather jacket as well I'm gonna be wearing a lot of clothes on this flight Okay, then there's also this leather jacket. This is so, it's so cute and it's so long and I feel like I can't leave this jacket alone. I can't leave it. I can't leave this behind. I don't know why the shoulders feel, the shoulders feel quite puffy. Like, I mean, the line for the shoulder is up here, but I feel like there's some sort of fabric down here. Maybe I need to fix it on the inside. But, oh. But yes, uh, leather jacket is not part of the list. This is just me being me. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to be, I'm going to fold this up into a pillowcase, the black um, down jacket because it can be, it can be foldable into a pillowcase and it'll also be very comfortable. So I'll fold this into a pillow and this will be my pillow. And I'm, what I like about this coat is that it's very long. <sighs> I don't know if you got to see how long that was, but it was very long. Something else that's really nice to have but not a must is a woolen um, coat of sorts but this is only important I guess if you have enough space like if you're not packing like me then you can carry a woolen coat but if you pack like me do not carry a woolen coat because you don't necessarily need it if you're carrying the down jacket or a leather jacket and you already have the other layers that's not important but yes I'm still considering should I go with the black or the brown oh the brown is such a cute color okay so the brown is just very picturesque what do you think the brown is but it's not as heavy as the oh which could be good if it's not as heavy as the black it means that i could carry the brown and you know that way my luggage won't be that heavy so brown it is oops <laughs> Don't be like me while you're packing for winter. So I just realized we didn't pack any pants. We didn't pack pants for the bottom half. So for the bottom half, this is what I'll be carrying. And I'm super excited. Okay, so I already have my ski pants and I'm also gonna carry a pair of leather pants. My favorite jeans, I've got these like flared jeans by Lisa and Lena. So I'll carry a pair of flared jeans and that will just be a great addition which I can mix and match with like different outfits so I couldn't decide between having beige jeans or pink jeans but I think I'll go with the beige because they can match the brown trousers, the brown jacket and even different all the different jackets that I have I think could match really well with the uh, beige jeans so I'll go with the beige and the other the black leather pants and the blue jeans and i think i'll also carry a pair of these black jeans because they're really warm and they have this really nice lining on the inside so yeah so i think four pair of jeans should be enough for the days that we're going for because let's face it i don't have enough space to carry lots of things so that's what we're gonna go with Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry that bright and whimsical version of me was just going on and on and she couldn't decide what to wear. But I'm gonna speed things up for you. So in case you're just like her, carrying too many clothes, you should do an outfit plan for every day. All the clothes that you plan to carry, make sure that they can match with something else so that your suitcase and your wallet can be saved. But yes, I'll hand you back over to the brighter version. I don't know why the darker version of me just keeps coming back, but fortunately, I got rid of her. 
So let's continue. Shoes. So something very, very important, very like if your feet if your feet are cold, if your feet are cold, it doesn't matter what you're wearing up top, your whole body will feel cold. I don't know why that is. There's like a science behind that. But make sure your shoes are waterproof. So I will be carrying a pair of these black wellies and they've got like really good grip make sure you've got something like with a really good grip and these in particular they don't have any warmth on the inside but i'll be wearing very warm socks but i think that's important to carry and this is very important is socks and i'll be carrying very long socks so these are very these are sports socks i wore these to mount kenya and they keep my feet really really warm and they've just got like very good grip as well so if you can find a pair or two of really warm socks be sure to carry if you can find a pair of really warm socks be sure to carry at least um two pairs of like super warm socks that you can wear on top of so i'm gonna wear like regular socks underneath for skiing regular socks underneath and then i'll have these on top but for the day to day i'm also gonna going to carry a pair of woolen like woolen like material stockings and these are also going to keep help keep my feet really really warm because remember cold feet if you have cold feet you're gonna have a bad day okay something that's always good to carry is socks that you can also wear uh, while you're indoors because i'm not going to be carrying any house shoes so i'll be carrying a pair of really fluffy socks Actually, perhaps I've got like about three of these, so this is what I'm going to be carrying because I don't have enough space to carry house shoes. Something else is super important to carry, and actually I think looking at this, this goes hand in hand with skiing, is a fleece sweater. So a fleece sweater is something that you can wear on top of the undergarment and it just keeps you like very warm. I think this one that I have is by Jack Wolfskin, but you can also find really affordable fleece sweaters at decathlon and any store so i've got a black one and a pink one and i think i'll carry both because this pink one matches my um i've got some ski pants which i fortunately managed to thrift and they're by decathlon so i'm going to be carrying these ski pants and i'll also carry the pink fleece sweater and i guess the fleece sweater is something i can also wear um Maybe not the bright pink, but the from day to day, I could also wear that like after skiing. And the black, of course, I can wear the black in day to day, and it's something that will also help keep me warm. I wish it didn't have this like decathlon logo, but we can't win and we can't pick and choose. Okay, so to get onto the slopes, you're gonna need two. You're gonna need one jacket that's an outside shell. I got this one from the North Face thrifted and so you have to make sure that um, the hoodie that you get has a big enough size so that you can fit a helmet underneath I'm just wearing two hoodies at the same time but this is the sort of down jacket that you're gonna wear underneath of the shell just to keep you warm the shell is just to keep you dry and the down jacket is to keep you warm Okay, so I also wanted to carry this green jacket, but I had to decide what to leave behind and what to carry, and I think one or two down jackets is enough. But something to look out for when looking or thrifting for down jackets is to make sure that the stuff inside the filling hasn't really separated because then you can have like sections, like this section over here where it's like super empty, so it's not gonna keep you warm. Super tip. Hats, and I'm a hat girl, I love hats. So I'm going to... These are, are these all berets? I think they'll open no, up there. There's like a, a few basic hats in here. Okay, scarves. I actually have like a whole box where I just put all of my scarves. So I'm just gonna pick the scarves which I feel are best suited for this unrealistic weather. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna carry this piece which is just a neck piece and you can just wear this on your neck and bring it up over and it can cover your um, nose and mouth and that way you're not breathing in any cold air so I'm definitely going to carry this another scarf which is similar to that one but is uh, this infinity scarf so I've got this in pink and I've also got the same sort of scarf in black and grey I feel like because the black one is bigger it does make more sense to just have the black one because it can match with most outfits so I think I'll carry the grey one, the black one, and the grey one is also really cute but it's also quite tiny I feel, oh it's quite, 
tightly knit. But yeah, I think this as well is just nice just to cover the neck because you feel, you tend to feel really cold around the neck area. Oh, actually it's very cute. Okay, if I have space, I could carry the grey, but I'll leave the pink behind because actually I don't think any of the sweaters I have will go with the pink, so I will leave the pink behind. And something that if I want to like add a bit of color, this is a very thin scarf. It doesn't do much, but it's very thin. So I'm gonna also carry this black and white one. Okay, so something that's super important to carry is gloves. And these you need for skiing. So make sure to find a pair that is waterproof and something that's really warm, um, which you can use for skiing because you will feel cold while skiing. And then for the regular day to day, you can just find like a nice pair of like woolen gloves. Um, it's handy if you can get a pair that's touchscreen because that way you don't have to put take the glove off and on whenever you need to use your phone but if not just a regular pair of woolen gloves should do to keep you warm sunglasses now i'm sure you never thought of that but you will need sunglasses because the sun is going to be glaring and blinding you in the eyes because it's just going to be reflecting because the snow is white the sun is just going to reflect off of the snow and that will just go into your eyes and be very bright so it's good to get a good pair of sunglasses if you can find a pair of glasses that are specifically for skiing well and good but if not a regular pair of your awesome sunny should do 